to this tutorial and in this tutorial we're just going to fix weapon flipping so that our weapon stops going in walls so before i begin with the play controller script we're just going to set skin width to 0.03 and this radius is already 0.3 if it's not then you can do that and then the min move distance to zero mm, yep zero all right so let's go back to the script and in this region just gonna rename this to weapon and here also weapon and then we're gonna go down in here and we're gonna say whip prevention we also add a header that is for clip mission so basically mission settings and then um, we can also need to add a space above this so space Alright, and here we're gonna need multiple references. So the first one is going to be a serialized field. Private. Oops. What's that? It's gonna be a private, and this is going to be a game object. Rather, I think we can simply go with transform. Not need for the game object reference. It's gonna be the clip projector where our clip's gonna be projected. Alright. Then we also need a new one. This one's gonna do some other things as well. So it's transform. And this is basically, yeah, so this is the clip visual. So this is gonna be like a cube. And because we're gonna use checkbox, check box, yeah, to check if our weapon's going in the wall or any other object. And this is gonna basically display that cube as a cube really in the world 3d object you know so for better visualizing after this we need some more variables too so we are gonna need a serialized field private float and this one is the basically it's gonna be a speed so spine set change now and we can set this one to 5f all right now we also need another one something like that it's also private and this one is our it's a vector 3 new position so this is basically the position our weapon needs to go to and I've already actually predetermined that that's actually like the three. Rather, we just change that on play. Then we have a private vector three. And that is the box cast size. So later on, we're gonna just put this into the uh, inscrutable object because each weapon might have a different size and different position and many other things. So that's gonna be in the SO itself, our weapon SO, which is in here. But for now, it's going to be a box cast size directly in here. Then we'll have another one called the box cast clipped size. Oops, size. Box cast. Yeah, I think that's okay. Box cast clipped size. And then. We also need the new direction, meaning the new direction, right? So new direction, which is going to be the new rotation, rather. So we've already got new position, also new, new. I think we can go with new rotation. And for more cleanliness, we're just going to add that above. Mm, yeah, that looks nice. And now we need a layer mask as well. So that's gonna be a private layer mask and that's gonna be the clip check mask so what should our um, script check you know what should it check for as a mask what will it check so now you also need multi aim multi rotation right? now I'm gonna actually hit final references so this is the only multi aim we've got multi rotation in here that's because I just don't want to have more than this. So spine constraint. 
that's gonna be the spine constraint um yeah and so if we just have one spine constraint we need to override both right because in the rig we got spine two and spine one and we also need to modify for both of these oh all right we'll do spine two only for now and then later we're gonna do the one for spine one as well basically we're gonna have to keep the spine straight prevent it from relating but we'll still allow the player to be able to see up and down normally um yeah that's what we're gonna do so next thing we need is our initial position and that's actually a private vector three initial position okay got that done and then we also need private boolean is flipped set this to false as default then we also need one of this thing called the uh private it's a private uh float yes the lerp lip boss i don't know what to call this thing lerp boss maybe lerp boss all right we'll see if we need those anymore or not so we've got all the variables done up here Yep, so that's all we need. Now we're gonna go in the player web shooting. Well, I don't mean in that one. Player weapon. As it's gonna have multiple things uh, relating to the weapon, right? So we're just gonna. And we also have commented this out. Let's delete that instead. Alright, and now go down in here and we're gonna create a new private void. It's gonna be called handle weapon clipping the weapon from clipping yep so now we're gonna call this method right after the handle reloading one and that's gonna be the handle weapon weapon clipping yep handle the weapon clipping and we're gonna begin writing the code for actually preventing the clipping in this method now so yeah so let's begin with the coding for our method and just before we do that um on i think we should actually begin with writing a bit better code like you know basically start that's when we want to do all of these all this code actually because you see this one's actually being called when this is being loaded and this one's called before any of the update method is called so going to start with the main coding and before i do that we're just going to add the start method and in this method we're going to do all of this code in here instead of the awake but basically what happens is on enable is called which is going to give us the error so what we need to do here is keep that over there but we just need to do this one in awake and this one in here so i'm using start for more optimization because you know it says awake is called strip instance being loaded so i think i think let me know in the comments below if that's not true but anyway <laughs> It's okay here. Yeah. It's better to be in the start function, I think. Because starts calls before any of them. Yeah. Alright, so let's start writing the code. Oh man, I forgot that too. Yeah. We have not set the initial position yet. So the initial position um, is going to equal our gun holder. So we also need a reference to our gun holder, and we don't have it, right? So why don't we have that? I think we had it. Um, let's find our weapon section. Well, let's do command F. Nope, don't have any of that type of thing. So we'll need to create that. 
that's going to be a simple serialized field and it's going to be up here a serialized field by with transform transform this is going to be the gun holder all right so this is what we're going to actually move around and here you can say gun holder dot local position all right okay we got the initial position now so let's go down in here and we're gonna check if is clipped. So if we are clipped, we are going to do some code and that code is basically we're gonna change um, between the size of the clip visuals uh, scale. Yeah. So we've got the local scale and the low C scale. We're gonna go with the local scale because that's what I I think is okay for doing that. And then we go with box car size and the clip size because we clipped else if we're not clipped just to make the statement more clear clip visual dot transform dot local scale is set to the box car size which is the normal size so the reason why we did this is well really I'll make you understand when we are actually testing back with these two values which are the sizes of the box cars um, that we're going to use for preventing the weapon from clipping so now we've got this one we can just add a comment for better visualizing and then we're going to go down in here and we're going to begin with our physics box car so if physics dot actually we're going to not use the box car so we're going to use the checkbox checkbox so inside the checkbox we're gonna use the clip projector as the position from where we're gonna actually fire the box or draw the box All right um, yeah and what else in here we can need the need the size so that's gonna be box gun size slash 2 so that's half of the size because he wants the half extents which is basically basically you know half 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 size yeah and then it needs an orientation we can pass that into the projector dot transform rotation and now it just wants a mask which we created clip check mask okay so we check check box Oh, checking whether our weapon is clipping. Now, if this is true, if this is true, we're gonna have to modify alert boss, and it's going to be set to math f dot lerp. Yeah. Going to lerp it from. We are going to lerp it from our lerp boss to one f. At the speed, so that's where we're gonna use the we're gonna use 10f rather, just use direct values because I'm pretty sure we don't need to change that. I already tested it, of course. We're gonna check if it's fine constraint dot uh, data. No, I'm no, we're not doing that. We need to smoothly actually get the spine to do some things like you know, spine constraint dot data dot offset is equal to a new vector 3 which is going to be a big one here so we're going to use the mathf.lerp function for lerping again and this time it's going to be lerping from the spine constraint dot data dot offset dot x and the value we want to go to is going to be our minus x rotation and of course we also need to pass in the speed and here's we are gonna where we are gonna actually make use of that spine offset change speed or a spine offset speed multiplied by time dot delta time all right so this is the first line which is gonna give us the x at a comma and we can go to the next one so now we need to give in what is the y now we're gonna give in here 
actually this is the y region right so this has to be lerp to zero because currently the offset in in here is set to um where's that thing the spine two yeah so this is basically set to 50 and it's gonna lerp down to zero all right so we're gonna simply do data offset we help it and this one's gonna be from the spine oops no spine constraint and dot data dot offset dot y and this is going to be till zero f at a speed of spine offset change speed times time dot delta time then we're going to add a comma and this time just going to put zero directly in there just put the uh, end line line uh, line whatever so now we also need to set is clipped to true so set is clipped to true we're gonna simply say is clipped equal to true all right that's easy and in here after that we have done a big if so this is like the main check we do inside this we have this code we're gonna add an else if right after it so suppose this one fails to catch anything in there so basically it just fails now the problem with this is I'll show you later while we're testing I'll make you understand that too so for now just continue um, with the code and once we're done with that um, I'll make you understand what I'm meaning and why we had to do two different checkboxes in different sizes too so else if is clicked is true we will have to do another if physics dot uh, oops what's that checkbox dot checkbox and I'm gonna just copy this one from here paste it in here but the difference is gonna be that this one is gonna be box star clip size because now we have clipped our weapon into the wall I mean it will clip if we don't prevent it that's what it means so we've done all we need to do for this one alright and then we have to add some code in here too so if that is true then we're gonna just do the same thing that we're doing up here yep same thing for the spine as well well wait a minute that looks weird yeah I think that's better or maybe even just don't make that space you know if it's not required which was easier for reading just need to set it nicely okay now after we have done that we also need to add the um code of, uh, what if it failed like you know we have doing the code correctly here but what about if it failed so what if we did not catch the checkbox because this is going to return true if something is there and will return false otherwise so else then we just want to do lerp pass to zero set that to zero and then we're gonna do the same thing similar thing just a bit different so in here we're gonna add this and instead of it being the uh where is it gone yeah here it is so this is going to be minus x rotation um what do we need to place that with that is um just give me a second here so this is going to basically be our extradition so where do we love this to it's going to be left to zero f because we don't need any offset on that axis this has to be 50 right it's default 50. so and those it is of course uh zero so basically in the else statement we have checked if we've got the physics checkbox if we do get it then we do the code that was similar to that one over there we just don't change this because it's already screw that means it's already true um then if it's not we set it to zero and we want to again change the offset this time back to its original and the original is this one that you can see also once this is clear that it's not clipping just set it to false so that you know it's 
stops coming in this statement and instead it goes in here in the else statement this one see so in this else statement we just going to be um really we just going to be doing all the code again which is in this one here so we're just going to copy this code we're going to set it here as well yep i think that's that's okay right well actually we don't need to modify this but i'll just keep that there for now and i also keep it in here um, for better understanding is it equals true all right okay now we're actually not doing anything yet so there's nothing no effects gonna happen if we try to play it right now because we're not actually applying this code to our rotation or anything to the gun holder yet so let's begin with that too we're done with the else statement so we can enter twice and the we're gonna the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure no, no, we don't even need to do that but just in case we're gonna set this to one and zero it cannot be any other value except for this and then we're going to set the uh, the local rotation so in here we're gonna be modifying the gun holder dot local rotation it's gonna be set to Quaternion dot lerp. So we're gonna use the lerp function in here. It's going to lerp from another either. It's gonna lerp from quaternion dot either. Zero comma minus fifty comma zero. Right. That's what we wanted to do if the lerp boss is zero. Now we can hit the comma button again. And then we do lerp it to the Euler of 0f, well not 0f, sorry, new direction. New direction, new direction, where is the variable, what? New rotation, sorry. New rotation. And then we're going to pass in the variable to rely on. So this is going to be lerp boss. And then, oh, why is it all blocking everything here? I don't need a comma for this. So what's going to happen here is it's going to set the local rotation and what the lerp function is going to do is going to lerp between these two depending on lerp pause. So if this lerp pause is 0.5, just suppose, then it's going to be blending between these two um, you know, rotations. So when this is 1, it's going to completely switch it to this rotation, meaning it's going to set it to the new rotation. And when this one's zero, this is going to when the lerp pulse is zero, it's gonna just set this one, this value. So this is a technique to use the lerp function. Then we're going to set the local position, and in here we are going to be changing the gun holder's local position, local position, not local rotation. And this time we're going to set it to a vector 3.lerp, right? So a vector 3.lerp is going to be something like this. Yep. And then we can make that space. So inside this one, we're just going to learn from the initial position, which is the initial position, um, to our new position. And it's also going to be based on lerp pulse. All right. And just add the line and thingy. So this is it, and this should do all we need for the code for fixing weapon clipping. Let's come in here. All right, so it's compiled. It did compile even. Let's see again. Compilable. Okay. I think it is compiled, so it's not showing it again. All right, so we have these nice settings in here. We're gonna start by passing in the gun holder, which is right here. And that we need a clip projector. So, what exactly and where are we gonna store the clip projector itself? Well, the clip projector has to be rotating um, with the center spine, so it has to be in here. Oh, 
um, if you have not created this by now, just have to right click and create empty game object. And then you can see these values in here, just put it in there. So I'm just going to do this for now. And you can name that to Clip Projector. And then you create another empty game object, or you can create an empty 3D object, rather, just create a 3D object. It's going to be a cube inside the Clip Projector. Set it, call it visual, and then for now, just set it off. And then forget these, don't need to change these. You're going to have the mesh render and everything. Just remove the box collider because that might actually distract our checkbox, maybe. So if you enable this, you can see this big cube here, right? Okay. All right. So this is the object going to be changed. And we've given in the first reference, which is the gun holder, it wants the clip projector, which is the clip projector here. And the visual. So now the visuals um, uh, scale is gonna change depending on the state. So if you are clipped, it's gonna set it to the box cast clip size, so we can see what our current box box cast is being. What our box, uh, what type of what size the box cast is being projected currently? Yeah, because in here we actually check that, and we we're gonna throw a bigger cast than the previous one prevent that uh, glitch you can say um, it happens because our character is continuously moving and the spines moving continuously and it might be that the weapon clips then comes out really quick and that can cause a really big you know jitter in your game so that's why we use a bigger one for the after the eclipse is complete so now we set the mask that's gonna be ground and the default um, you can select everything and then accept the war UI. We don't want Maggie. We don't want player, of course. We don't want weapon either. Because the weapon is not supposed to be there. Alright, so this is the spinal set change of speed. We've got the multi constraint required in here. So we need to put in the first one, second one, the main one. Alright, why is the interact max distance here? I think we didn't add a header to it. Yeah, we forgot to do that here. Yeah. So let's just add a header. Let's say interactions. Interactions. Space. Oops. That was looking very confusing to me. I was wondering why it's giving extra variables here. Then now I notice. Alright, that looks better. So we're gonna have to modify these values to get what we want now the box cast size so what do we need to put in this one i have already predetermined this all so i have been testing about and the best position i've thought about is this and 0.01 so if you've been following me um accurately and correctly then these values will work for you as well then 0.24 in the sorry this is notation 0.24 for the box cast size on the normal one and then 0.1 also and for the z axis we're gonna set this to 0.8 um, the new rotation is going to be 87 and minus 50 and then it's going to be minus 11.8 so for the box cast clip size we're going to simply I'm going to Multiply every single thing. I'm um, by 1.1. No, I'm going to just do it by 1.2. 1 1, 0.1 by 1.2. Well, that's going to be 1.2. This is going to be 0.2 edit. And I think I set this to 1. I don't know. I just want to get this running. So let's see if we. These values looking good here. Let's actually multiply everything by 1.2. Well, by 1.2, yes, this is correct. Then, if you multiply 0.24 with point, point, well, 1.2, yep, and 0.8 times 1.2 is 9.6. Just gonna set that one to 9.6. And let's try it out. So, hit the play button. Let's see if there's any bugs or something. So we start and everything is. Oh, why is this so. Okay, I think it seems okay now.
if we go and yeah well all right so you can see things are happening however it was looking really really a jittery for some reason um you can see that that's not the perfect position or rotation for our player that, that that's just looking really odd and he's actually blocking the weapon from a very far amount of range i'm just gonna set this to point just need to prevent that glitch, you know. From there, um, maybe we can just set this to even 0.85 because, and you can notice that issue as well. And if you also notice that it's only this is fine that is being fixed, so you can see I've made the weapon lowered. Right, so I've done that. Yeah, I think I have. Yup, no clipping going on in here. Also, if I rotate, there's no difference because we have actually um, put that inside the capsule. The weapon's now kind of inside. Is it? Oh, it's not. Really? I think I made a mistake with the values. I just modified this one here. If we change the rotation a little bit, something like that maybe. That's inside, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Now let's have a look from this angle and get this done correctly. Turn off the gizmos, man. They're ready. That's really you know. Set the new that rotation that given some more height maybe. Yeah, something like that looks better. Okay, so I'm gonna right click and copy the component. And secondly, I also think that we need to turn off both the spines because if you look this is spine is orientating this one here. And you can see it's actually changing its extradition even when it's blocked. So that's causing a funny effect on the body. You can, you, you can notice that, right? So you can see the spines right move. Now there can be two ways. We can rather turn this off or do the same thing that we've been doing for the other one. So just set this one to whatever this one is. Put negative. So let's see how that affects negative. You'll see that that just gets him to stand up more easy and that'll get us to the best position so how are we gonna do this we will need two spine references Dim. just don't forget to copy those values as they were important they, those were well actually they were just forgotten just because of my own i think i know what i did but it's okay we're just gonna change them again because uh, we have to change the color and it's going to be in the left boss area so this is the boss area the boss and the boss in here as well getting the errors four of them let's go up here and define the variable which is going to be similar to this one just copy it from here paste it in here and just leave that space alright so now we can fix this Change the speed and make it up. That is fixing the code which looks really bad in here. We're just gonna start by removing this and we're gonna do a private void method in here. So this is going to be what method will look like. It's going to look like basically this is gonna do the positioning so and rotationing. Set, set camera positions position what do I put in here position and rotation and rotation and then we're going to begin by adding the same code which is here copy that command x paste it here and just call this method from there and secondly we see that this is not something that we can use we can't use this instead we have to use 
time dot late. Well, it doesn't have a later blade. There's no late delta time. Why don't we just use delta time for now? Because I think that's will work. Camera lurping speed. We don't have that yet. We need that too. The camera lurping speed is basically going to be a float and it's going to be above in the look section, the camera section. Just need a zero as field, private, float, look, well, the know. It's just not gonna be anything. I'm just gonna do it by flat speed. Why a flat speed, yeah. Why one of this? I think something like we can do 10 times. Alright. Um, yeah, camera lurping speed. We don't have that yet. But it's okay because we're just gonna use the direct number here. It's gonna be 10. 10 as well. And here also 10F. 10F. For these, what I'm just putting the wrong one in here. Put this in here. Keep on pasting it. Pasting the paste, paste. All right. And secondly, I also need to have a rotation. Uh, um, basically, I can see in here that we just don't need to care about this one because it's always the same code in both ends. So we're just gonna remove that from here. Move it from here as well, and then we're just gonna add the rotationing from here. Copy that, paste it in here, then remove the code spacing and extra lines. Yep. Okay. Now we can save and come in here. And now we're going to begin fixing that issue that I just said is clipping in there, right? So we're just going to duplicate this one, and this is going to be camera holder clipped and clipped, yeah. And this one's going to be have to be have to be a position. It's going to be in the center of the camera holder. Set so transform. We're going to see what we can set that to to be made to actually work with our new things and new state so we're gonna have to add a new if and that's gonna be if is clipped if we are clipped and this is gonna be an else if instead if we are clipped then we just want to do camera holder dot position equal to like to i'm just gonna have to copy this code here paste it in here lerp, and you're gonna lerp from the camera holder position camera holder clipped dot position similarly for the rotation we're just gonna get this code paste and this is going to be going along with the camera holder clipped rotation which we have not got yet we do need to get that one Come in here, and we're just gonna assign the reference. Our strip walls, uh, camera holder clipped as well. Oops, camera holder clipped. Um, yep. So we're giving it the camera holder clipped, and let's have a look at what's going on now. You may have noticed that my game's starting really odd. That's because of this value. So I don't know, but we exposed it for some reason. Um, in the one of the previous videos yeah we did yeah sure so we just need to remove it question is it's in the look region and here we're exposing this for no reason let's make sure we're not getting an error are we getting any errors by not exposing it anymore is things here just remove the unused variables 
and yep so the sway strip wants the reference and if you can't get it no problem you're just gonna go down here and use the expose methods region and you're gonna expose the public float x station get extradition it does not need anything and it's gonna return the oops return the extradition then you can go in here and just say get extradition instead if using that one get extradition well we're gonna be having sway in there as well afterwards we're gonna just take this script and put it inside that one as we don't want to have multiple scripts for these types of simple stuffs Especially, you know, when our play control can handle it. Yeah, that was a really stupid thing. I got this forgotten, so I need to get it again. Camera holder clipped can be somewhere here. This side, so that we don't miss anything important. Okay. Then, if we come near anything, yeah. Alright. If we're looking side. Okay. You're clipping the weapon. Why is the weapon clipping? Hey, wait a minute. I remember it wasn't clipping. Even when I enable this cheeky. Keep that more on that side, baby. I'm not going to forget this one, you know when I forget this one. So I'm just going to memorize that. 0.15 and minus point. Point one five is the actual one to remember. Then clip the thingy, just copy that. Point, get out of fly mode and paste in the component values. Come on here and I know this was 0.15. It was 0.01. And now we can do another final thing which I have been looking for. I found out that Cinema Machine is capable for adding breathing effect without any code or any modification to anything in here. And that was really a great thing and I'm really happy about that functionality that Cinema Machine's got multiple effects you can use. So you'll see how we're gonna use the Cinema Machine noise or getting some effect. So if we hit noise basic multi-channel problem, you'll see we have a noise noise uh, profile. And I'll set to 60 wobble. It's gonna be 0 0.05, 0.05. .05. And then we can also now this is gonna be the final time we actually well no wait a minute before we hit the play button. Just before we go away, I forgot um other kind of didn't in our shoot function where we shoot the objects well not sorry really out weapon data position and direction is passed in by the hand shooting function so you see yeah so in here we're just gonna copy the one where we shoot from the fire point and we're always gonna fire from the fire point that's it that's it right okay that's the only difference and this way we're gonna have some nice Recall effects being visible when you're shooting, so I'm gonna shoot at the exact same position too. And of course, it's gonna not, sh not gonna shoot annoyingly, so you can see shooting more realistically. Let's make a bigger screen. Whether you're aiming or not, 
and now you'll see the difference. So if we add air wall, so you can now look down. Oh, well, how we do that? The better idea is to climb an object which has a different decal. Then look down. Oops. Oh, I'm gonna hit it. Well, forget that for now then. Let's block our weapon here. So now you can see the effect is right there, wherever the gun was aiming. So we have done quite a lot and that is going to be the end of this, um, is it going to be really the end of this video? Wait a second, let me find out. Just give me a second here. So basically we have already fixed that thing. Yeah, so I'm just gonna do the rest of um, yeah, this is the end of this video, yeah. And thank you for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and like. Um, yeah, that's it.